Okay, so for this week's assignment, we're uh, going to be doing, you know, that micro bit stuff. And where's my basics? No, there's my. Sorry, I want my on start there. I don't know why it wasn't there. We're going to do the micro bit with the little like cute bot again attached. Um, you'll note that I do not have my sonar attached to it yet, uh, but that's okay because we'll be using some lights on the bottom side. These are little light sensors. And we are also going to need this, what I'm going to call the figure eight oval. It came in your kit. If you don't have this or if you've misplaced it or you want to make your own of a different shape because that would be totally cool, make your own of a different shape, you just need kind of a fairly dark marker. Um, and this is about an inch wide, but I don't know that it has to be that wide. The wider, the better though. Um, and high contrast is best. So black on white will totally work. Um, I don't know how this closes. I guess it closes like that. All right, so you're gonna need that. And then also in your kit, you have this cool little booklet. Um, and this booklet actually has some information here. It's got a, a lamp lesson. It's got a dancing lesson. Uh, it has turn signals in case you want to like tell people. Uh, but it also near the back right here, lesson number five has line tracking. And if you look at the line tracking lesson, it talks about like in general what's going to happen. This is kind of like a logic like path kind of pseudocode flow chart. Uh, over here is, is the beginning of the step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the code. There's more so more code. And then if you go all the way to the end, it actually shows the completed code. So that's actually all of the code that you need to make it follow a line. Um, and then, yeah, so actually we're going to build that completed code kind of live in front of you right now. So on start, it actually wants us to kind of show a little symbol so that we know that we are doing the, um, let's turn that one off and that one and that one off. It wants a little symbol there to let us know that we're following a line, basically. And then in the forever loop, okay, we need our extensions, right? It's going to be cute, but right here. So now we have Cutebot again. And we are going to use an if statement. So that's in logic. If right here. Uh, we're going to drag one of those over. And then it, it needs a true or false. And in Cutebot, we can actually find this kind of symbol right here. Tracking state is. And it fits in there. And then it's got a dot on the right. And then we are going to spin left wheel. OK, so we're going to go Cutebot set left wheel speed to percent right wheel speed to percent do I have a different one because the code that it showed is slightly different than that it doesn't have the percent signs uh, but that's okay apparently that's the one that we want and it wants us to go 50 percent and right speed at 25 percent okay and then we're just going to duplicate that I mean, I could find it again, duplicate it again, because the, the finished code, according to the picture, has three of them. And basically, it's going to have a, uh, if it's black on the other side now, so then we're going to probably switch those numbers. So 25% and 50%. You could use the dragging. Uh, I find the dragging to be not as quite as precise or as quick as the keyboard. And then, of course, if it's all clear, if it's all white, then we're going to go straight ahead, I suppose. Um, and we don't have one for all black. We, we just don't have one for all black at all. Uh, we've got one, again, for white on right, white on left, and all white. Um, but we don't have one for all black, which I think is okay. Sure. Uh, right now, though, we are going to grab our little robot, grab our little uh, jumper, and we're going to plug this in. And we are going to, I'm not even going to take it off the bot the robot body this time. I'm just going to plug it in. I'm going to upload it. See, that's got my sound code on it from last time. So I'm ready to go. Click the download button. Oh, it's moving. It's not moving because I haven't turned on the actual robot yet. So I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to put it down on my uh, little paper and see how it goes. Let's pause this. 
Okay, so I've got my little robot here, and it's it. What should happen is I should be able to turn it on, and it'll just follow this kind of line, like, you know, go like this and stuff. Um, let's find out. So we're gonna turn it on. And we're gonna set it down. And nothing happens right away, but if I pull it up and then set it down, it goes real quick. Ugh. If I set it on the line itself, it tries to move. It tries to follow it but it's going too fast. Oh. It's going really fast, and so I'm gonna want to adjust the code so that it actually goes slower. So instead of 50 and 25%, I'm gonna try and do, I don't know, maybe like smaller numbers <laughs> because that is just too fast. So go ahead and play with those numbers um, and get it until you can accurately follow the line. Um, and it's, again, just feel free to drop these numbers down right here. These numbers, much slower. And think about, you're still going to want the left wheel to be a little bit bigger when it's dark on the left and white on the right, I suppose. Um, yeah. Go ahead and play with that. Once you're liking how it tr follows the line, go ahead and upload your code again with the share button and upload a video. So for this assignment, you're gonna upload the video and the code to the same assignment. So you can do that all in one swoop or you can do it by uploading and then uploading it again, that's fine. Hope this helps.